Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This is Shy Dreams. Uh, maybe like three months ago, I released a video um, how to use the RPCS3 patching system uh, with the Artemis Sheets patches. Um, for the most part, the majority of the codes that um, I did play around with did work. But I'm still always looking for some other way to get them to work. So this video is going to be a quick one um, to show you how to use Cheat Engine and use the Artemis Cheat patches as well too. So um, I'll pop up the old video somewhere around here. Uh, it should be up on the right left corner or something like that. But um, if you do not have the Artemis cheat system installed, there is a way to get the cheats without installing the Artemis system. But to me, I mean, it's easier just to have it so you'll always know where it is. So, um, and in Cheat Engine, I'll put up a link to the actual website as well too. Because you need both to get this to work. And you need the game, so... But we'll jump right on into it. So, um, if you do have the Artemis cheat system installed, you go down to the install folder and then go to this user directory here. And then you want to go to user list, whereas all the cheats that it supports is in the list. But since we're going to use the Godfather today, um, I'll just scroll all the way to the bottom, which they do have a lot of cheats. I think it was like over 2,500 or something. Well, actually, it looks like 2,489, so it's close. Maybe I have to update or something. I don't know offhand. However, um, we're going to go on down to the Godfather. Which we're going to do, um, I think it's part two, if I'm mistaken. Okay, because somebody did asking, uh, when they were asking about the patching system, and, you know, could we use the cheats? And I was just like, well, I don't have that version. But with this way, it seems to work with any version so it doesn't even matter about the serial number at this point I guess we're just doing memory addresses anyway so with that being said um, you open it with your favorite or your whatever one you use your text editor which in this case I use notepad plus plus and then it pops up so next what you want to do is you want to load the game y'all know my motto copy and paste easiest way to go so then you're gonna boot the game and you have to let the game load completely um, and then once you have the game loaded <laughs> sorry about that they had a volume up a little bit too loud okay so once you have the game loaded you're going to attach engine to the process and you click open now that you have it attached what you want to do is manually add addresses so then you go back to your cheat window and in this case we're going to use this never reload over here and copy that out you can put the descriptions in if you want I mean, I typically put them so I know exactly what they are. And then you want to copy the first set here, which is the address. With the RPCS3, they do have a huge memory. I mean, they use a lot of memory with the PS3. So what I found was is that um, the 4,000 codes seem to be the ones that work. I tried the 3,000 codes, like 3, 2, 1. I, I tried all of those, but I couldn't get them to work. So when I got to the 4,000s, or 400,000s, um, it seemed like they did work. So in any event, you put a 4 in front of any address that you find in the Artemis patching system files, and then it should work. Very simple. So basically copy the address which is here you want to copy that out then you want to go here and then you want to start it off with a four and then you paste the code right behind it so once you have that you want to take big indian is where it is and then you're going to click exodus 
you're gonna sell it to say okay. But once you put the manual in, then you'll see that it has a value, which in this case, we're going to change that value. So what you want to do is you want to click the X button to lock or freeze that value in place. And now we want to change it. So we're going to take this second set of characters here. And that is now the new value. So then you want to double click and you want to paste it in. And you hit OK. And that's it. Then you move on to the next one. OK, so we're going to try this one. Open this up. Here's the address, which I'll probably pop these up on the video that says address or something. And then you're going to copy it out. Go back to Cheat Engine. You're going to manually add. So you take the last one out. You hit Control. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Oops. So you hit the number four, and then you hit Control V. Go back. I mean, you can get the description if you want, but I mean that's a. If you don't want it, you don't need it. I mean, it's just. I mean, it makes it a lot simpler. Then you click the hexadecimal, which then you see that value there, and then we're gonna go back, and then we're gonna copy this out. Sometimes I do notice that the values are the same, but in this case, it, I think it changes like a 7 or something. But then you click OK, and then you're going to lock the value, and then you're going to change it. And you tell it OK. So now, once you have the cheats in that you're going to use, you're going to stop the emulator. Once you stop it, then you just go back, double click. Or basically like reload it. Then you're gonna reattach to the process. And tell it to open. And that's kinda it. Once you do it, I mean you set it to however you want. game I had. And that's it. So then click here. And as you can see the health I'm sorry not the health. And that's it. Like I said, it works with most games so far, but the multi-line cheats does not work. If you have any questions or concerns or you still need some help, just drop me a comment under the video and I'll be more than happy to help. All right, y'all take it easy. Take care. Peace.